Welcome to Blind Bourbon and Whiskey Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new bourbons. We base our reviews off of a 25-point scale we developed and then multiply that by 4 to get up to 100. We start with 5 points for smell, then 10 points for taste, then 5 for the finish, and 5 points combined for the look of the bottle and the liquid inside. Now on to the review. All right. Well, she's trying to get me drunk because Weller 107 I've had already had too much and it's 107 proof, so here we go. Um, so this is going to be another one off of our Not So Blind. Um, John wanted to revisit Weller Antique. It is yeah. top-ish area for John. He really enjoys it, but he was kind of disappointed on his last review. And then the first review was just kind of crap. But Did you get the date that... Oh, I did not. Okay. Um, so, revisiting it... Uh... I don't know if it's a bad bottle or if it's just a brand that needs opening up some airtime i thought maybe would do it so you know well, when it was we posted the video on august 30th so your review was probably shortly so it's been three weeks that's maybe? the second bottle we got in the summer august 30th that's it a month says... ago oh Never mind. Me. About a month and a half ago, we opened this bottle. So, it's got some air time. Um, let it get down to about halfway, plus what I've drank today. So, let's see how a month open does for this. What did I... Uh, we'll ask at the end. Alright, so, on the nose, I get sweet candy cinnamon. Raisin. I don't really get raisin on the nose very often. Mm -mm. Very strong caramel and pretty strong vanilla. I always get bread when I smell 107. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay. It's interesting. It's got this soft bread like character. It's it's about the only one I really get bread out of, I think. After we did that weeded week, I know what a weeded bourbon smells like for the most part now. Mm -hmm. It's just soft. Um, it's got some pleasant oak. Slight mint. I don't know why that's in there. It's kind of odd in there. I'm not getting much alcohol for... Kind of crazy for that proof. There's a little bit in there, but... I love the smell of this one. It's one of my favorite smelling ones. So I give it four and a half. Wow, okay. What did I give it on the smell? On the so, blind? your first one, you said alcohol, lots of oak, sweet mint, spearmint-esque, grape and plum, some kind of sweet dark fruit, vanilla extract, a little bit of caramel, kettle corn, popcorn-esque, and bread, no detail on the bread, so you just kind of said that you smelled bread. Okay. Nothing particular. You gave it a four out of five, so you're a little bit higher than what you initially gave So it. some of those smells did kind of transform. Um, I The grape, I got grape on it? Mm, yeah. That kind of transformed to raisin, like a sweeter yeah. grape. Um, the caramel got stronger, vanilla got stronger. Um, mint, I got wintergreen this time, not more of, it's more of a spicier mint, not a sweeter mint. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. What else did I get? Uh, kettle corn, popcorn -y. Didn't get any of that. No. Maybe that's transferring over to that sweet grain smell that Maybe. you smell. Yeah, but I'm not too far off. No, Just 0. you're 0. 0.5 on good. the smell. Yeah. So Consistent. It, it opened up a little bit on the nose, but not crazy. Now on the palate, a lot of cinnamon. Um, it's actually very sweet. 
can't really place what the sweetness is. There's a little odd tasting that's kind of counteracting it. Um, you get a little bit of red pepper, you, like red pepper flakes. That prickliness okay. from the high proof, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, mint turned more to like an anise candy. Those, not licorice, but anise candies. It's just odd. I like them, but it's kind of weird in this. You and five other people. Um, vanilla sticks around. From the nose to the palate. Pretty oaky. Very oaky. I, a little bit of the raisin comes through too. Now that, I, now that I'm sitting here with it. I gave it a 7 out of 10. It's not where I really want it to be. I don't know if it's just not what I thought it was going to be. I thought I loved it more or if it's just maybe a bad bottle or maybe not not a bad bottle but an off slightly off bottle. Maybe. 7 out of 10. What did I give the palette? So palette was spearmint, peppery, spice, a lot of oak, a little bit of vanilla, oak and char, a tiny bit of rye. Bread comes through as a salty savory bread kind of like a sweet brown bread. So like um the Cheesecake Factory rolls, mm, like the favorite. dark, yeah, the dark molasses. That's one of John and I's favorite spread, breads. Um, that molasses spread, that dark brown bread. And you gave it a six and a half out of ten. So okay, again, so up went another up a little bit. Five. Yeah. Um, I got rye on it a little bit, which it does not have rye, so it is the high proof and cinnamon peppery. Yeah, that, that kind of feels like rye. Okay. Um, it's kind of like softened out. Over time, it doesn't feel so harsh. That's good. But it's still not... doesn't seem worth the hype. So okay. now on the finish, it, it's fairly long, and I still feel the oakiness. Um, the cinnamon, red peppery, the bread taste comes through. That sticks around, too. Um, a slightly odd anise-like aftertaste sticks around for a while. And you get a pretty big hug. Okay. This one grips you. Um, the mouthfeel right in the middle of thick and thin. Okay. I'll give it a three out of five. All right. So, so on the blind. Strong peppery burn indicating it's proofy. A uh, little bit of a heartburn, a little leathery, thick, medium to long finish. Two and a half out of five. Um, 0.5 up on everything. On everything so far. Now hopefully I stay consistent on the look in the bottle because that's it shouldn't change. Uh, the color, color in the bottle and in the glass, it's like just like the label. It's like red. Um, Lindsay introduced me to rosewood and it actually really looks like that. Yeah. So it's just a beautiful color. Maybe even perfect for a bourbon. I think so. It's a nice color. I don't know if the label just helps the redness shine through, but it's beautiful. Um, it looks thick. Many, many legs. It gets full points on the look. 2.5. So, blind, you said, walnut-esque looking, thick legs, lots of droplets, um, and it's shimmery. So you did give it full points on your blind as well. Okay. Now the bottle, I lowered a little bit, so I'll keep it the same for the first one just for consistency. Okay. Uh, I said 1.75 because I don't, it's not my favorite bottle, but I like it. It just seems kind of cheap. Yeah. Uh, uh, red's my favorite color, so it's hard not to love it. True. I used to drink this a lot when it was not popular, when it was 20 bucks, sometimes less. The Weller 12 was maybe 30. I used to drink all three, and it's crazy how much hype there is around them now. Yeah. So what did I say on the bottle? Um, you like the older ones better, but it out. it's still a decent bottle, so you gave it a two out of two and a half. 
So that would bring you up to 76 out of 100. 76 on the not so blind. And your blind was 70 out of 100. Okay, so it opened up a little bit more. Six um, points. I mean, that's nice. It's not the new worth the new price in Michigan of over fifty dollars. No. And it's not worth secondary of more than that. I, I will pay fifty every now and then if it comes around. We don't see it very often. Oh, not really. Uh, that's a tough one. I think it's a thirty to forty dollar bottle. It's good quality. It's high proof. So fifty isn't way too much. But it's pushing that up. Yeah. There's some states that are lower, still in the 20s, actually. So it's getting hard to find everywhere. But if you do see it, it's worth picking it up. Yeah. $50 is kind of the cap on it, though. Yeah. The, the Wellers are making some good juice over there. So it's nice. I mean, yeah. they're definitely easy drinkers. So if you definitely, if you like the, the weeded stuff, if you see them, I would grab them. But just don't. Don't fall into the high. If you like trap. the high proof, get the 107. If you like the lower, the Special Reserve is a great mm -hmm. cheap whiskey. If you yeah. can yeah, get it for around 30 bucks, still if it comes around, yeah. so yep. sometimes less. So that one's worth it. Opens too. up. Yeah, it opens up a little bit, just a little bit on everything. Yeah. 0.5 more. Pretty I got much. a little bit on over. So all the critical stuff. So feel a little bit better in my score. Uh. Still a little bit right. of a redemption, but mm -hmm. next bottle, maybe I'll do another review on, an, on a new see, bottle. and See what happens with the new bottle. Yeah. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.